there and thanks for joining me on this tutorial on really going over two things. I was rendering a video in WMV and I had a bunch of effects on it and I was getting massive artifacts. I was searching around for an answer on you know different forums and whatnot and even just trying to figure out you know what's your artifact and what is you know all that kind of stuff I just figured hey I already posted this video up for a family to look at and had the artifacts in it but just really left it because time was of the essence so now this fix eliminated the artifacts in the video in the WMV. Now part two was I was rendering MPEGs really and I haven't checked since to re-render an MPEG because I haven't really had the need for that but the other errors I was getting during rendering um, I would just crash and my program would freeze I could see that the little uh, progress window was just black and I did this next thing and it fixed it. So everything's really fixed and working great and first I'm going to show you what it looks like okay so you can see all the artifacts I got now this is a soft vignette Okay, and that was just, you know, too much for me. I, I just did not think that was professional looking at all. And so actually, um, I've now turned this into a tutorial instead of, you know, a pretty video for them to watch, but reposted it. So under here, you can see um, first one, the 32 bit. So this gentleman here I found on this forum, which I love, and you know, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. But the answer I found that fixed it was this gentleman talking about 8-bit versus 32 floating bit. Not exactly sure. I'm not an expert. I don't know the workings of computers that great, so I'm going to leave my opinion to the side. All I have to say is that I follow this gentleman's advice here and switched it underneath my preferences to a 32-bit floating point video levels. I'll show you what I did. So for that I went into video and I had mine already set down here but it will be defaulted at 8-bit. And 8-bit if you know I'm working and I just you know don't really care that much about fine-tuning it just yet just a rough edit 8-bit you want to go back through and eliminate artifacts so you can really get a feel for what your final product is going to look like with its you know dissolves and effects and sometimes it's just too much and that's what happened and actually I had some other weird things happen where effects were like piling on top of each other it seemed like um, so maybe this would fix that too. I don't know. I never had that problem before Vegas 12 um, and now I on Windows 7 that's what happened where I was at on my desktop. Upgraded to 12, upgraded to 7. Life was beautiful before that but life is once again beautiful. So just apply that. Fix number two. Next forum for the crashing and thank you Sony for giving me the answer to your issues but it's right here it has to do with going underneath the options of the video and choosing GPU acceleration of the video processing is off I on my, com my desktop have an external video card and when I went into my properties it was selected this other way and not with off so to fix that go into options 
preferences, video, right here it is. GPU acceleration of video processing. On my desktop, it had said whatever another option and then it was actually on that. So I changed it to off. I applied it. I said, okay, I rendered something out, just a small sample, a few minutes worth of a video that I had like continuously kept crashing on me and it worked. So these both have fixed the problems that I have encountered thus far. I hope that this may help you. Please leave your feedback, um, subscribe. I love making tutorials and finding fixes. If you were out there searching and you didn't really know what to call it, artifacts, please. I'm looking for some feedback on that too of different ways to you know, um, identify artifacts because it's kind of complicated when you're searching for it. So thanks a lot for watching.